Um, do you think you need a ride to school? Um, no, Mom, I'm good. I, I got a ride already. What? Yeah. Uh, Aunt Lady's, uh, taking me. Really? Yep. Uh, okay. You seem to be very, getting very close to this Mount Lady. Yeah, she's a great mentor. Uh huh. Are you sure that's all she is? What do you mean? I'm just saying, though she is technically older than you, she is still quite young. Uh, yeah, Mom, I'm positive. Wait, are you suggesting that me and... So I'm wrong? Yeah? Hmm. Okay. Well, I have a good first day of uh, school. Yeah, thanks, uh, Mom. And that wasn't awkward at all, so... <laughs> I'm just looking out for your best interests. Are you sure you're not just being nosy? Like I said, I'm just worried about your best interests. That's all I need to concern yourself with. As far as the first day of UA, Ida recognizes him as well as also God. <laughs> Buffalo definitely recognizes him seeing that Izuku has changed so much he's pissed but also <sighs> I can't believe this crap you didn't used to be like this and now he got some new friends and that <laughs> he has power now too Damn it! I'm supposed to be the main character, not him. But uh, this is a time, about the time where Isuku does notice the like, uh, teacher. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Um, are you going to start class? <sighs> yeah, fine, whatever. I, mean, I guess I can, but I really don't want to. Well, I just leave. You guys kind of expel yourselves. What? Oh, yeah, that's how I do things here. If, uh, you get on my bad side. Chances are you are not going to last long in this school. And interrupting my nap is not a good start for you, kid. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so I'll try and remember that. Quark got for to test. Izuku does swimmingly, using vibrations to Osagon send the ball flying, as well as crush the straight testing machine. Even using eh, them to technically launch himself in a straight line. Not being able to out jump Froppy so easily, but still, he is not on the chopping block. However, the ones who are, are of course, Sagakure and Manetta. Is he still wanting to not hurt anyone's chances of becoming a hero? He vouches for them, especially when it comes to eh, Manetta. 
though he has the perverse tendencies, he could be a great hero, given the right motivation. As for Hagakure, heck, she's a bit hard to defend since all she can do is turn invisible at the moment. But her being a stealth hero would be very helpful. Huh. Strange. Huh. Why do you care so much whether I expel someone or not? Well, I feel like anyone could be a hero. Really? Yeah. Oh well. Luckily for them and you, I was lying. Excuse me? Yeah, I was going to expel anyone. So what are you, are you saying that you, yep, it was a ruse. I, I wasn't going to expel anyone as long as you impressed me. And you're, albeit annoying, tendencies to try to override my authority. It can seem to be a bit of a pain in the ass for me. It's also quite admirable that you care so much about your fellow students and potential heroes. <sighs> but... Still, let's not make a habit of overstepping your boundaries. Or, you know, trying to mess with the status quo. Like you're not, I'm still your teacher. What I say goes. Whether you like it or not. Uh, uh, right. <sighs> All right, class, you're dismissed. Hmm. That boy. He gets on your nerves, doesn't he? Yeah, no idea why you care so much, but oh well. Ain't no real changing it. At least not yet. He has the potential to become a great hero. Maybe even better than you one day. All might. Yes. I, I can see that. But still. Um. I. Want to thank you for. Sticking up for me. Sure. Hmm. Uh. You have some jewel on the side of your face. What? Oh, I. I didn't. I kind of slept in a little bit and I got like. Wait. What? Y you can. See me. Well. well technically. No, I can't really see you, but I can feel you. What? Nothing. I mean, no, not like that. I mean, um, I can sense vibrations. Vibrations in the air or anything. Kind of like echolocation. So, I can sense the vibrations coming off of you. As, so, you tell me you know her measurements? You! Yeah, I'm happy that you stood up for me too, but. So. This. Uh, can start talking about how you can feel. I mean, uh. Feel the vibrations. Uh, so you can get accurate measurement. Yes. 
if I was like that, but I'm not. Please don't make me regret sticking up for you. Oh. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, I should never, uh, I will never do such a thing. But, if anything, you do actually see her. Yep. Every size, every crease, every curve, you can sense it. Depending on how much I'm focusing, right now I'm not focusing that much, so I can see at least an outline. Oh, so the more you focus, the more clear a picture you got. That can be very helpful. What? Mm, say, um, you focus enough. Would you technically be able to map out every nook and cranny? You mean, I, uh, I, uh, I, him looking, though he can't see Agakure per se, he knows right now that she is embarrassed as well as pissed. Let's go with that. Let's go with pissed. Because the more Manez talking, the more she's starting to, oh my god, how much can he see? Am I practically naked in front of him? Is going through her mind. And as you can imagine, Izuku wants to shut Manez up. But he doesn't want to kill him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to become a hero. He's not behind bars. This is when Kendo shows uh, and saves Izuku from this predicament. Much to everyone's surprise, especially Higakure's. You know him? Yeah. He saved me. <laughs> well, saved is kind of a over statement what you st you stopped me from getting crushed by a robot in fact I would like to make it up to you actually Izuku noticing the glare she's getting from Aneta even sensing the fact that Gakurei is getting a little bit flustered and I would like that, but I can't. Well, can I at least get your number? Oh, yeah, sure, no, no problem. What about me? Uh, uh you too? Uh, Hagakure? Yes, please. You know, it could come handy, like, if I need uh, some notes or... Uh, <sighs> huh. So, Pops, what's going on? You, uh, you getting kind of a you know, fan club thing going on? Shin so. Yeah, no. I don't have a fan club. They're just fellow students. Yeah, whatever you say. Um, Pops, why did he call you, hey old man, Kishima, Ugh. sorry I didn't really talk to you much during class, but I think I was kind of eh, trying to keep a low profile. Old man, how old are you? I'm the same age as you guys. Do you just call me Pops? Because you act like a dad to us. I do not. You scold us when we do something stupid, as you sh uh, uh, 
I'm just saying, I'm worried about your well-being. I don't want you to end up being here. Yeah, Dad, thanks a lot. You scold us for doing stupid things. You also are way too involved. But we're friends. Not, not friends. Friends don't get so uh, involved the way you do. Seriously. You tell me to make sure I did my homework. You tell me that now I'm trying to play video games or you make sure we train on a strict schedule. Yeah, we want to be heroes. You're acting like a dad. It's weird. Well, I, uh, well, luckily, it's simmered down compared to how it was before. Really? Why, why would have... Well, <clears throat> if you must know, he's actually technically one of uh, Mount Lady's sidekicks. And they have gotten very close. Huh? Oh, wait, so you and Mount Lady are... We work together. Are you sure you're a teenager? Yes. Believe me, I am very sure. Huh. Mount Lady, huh? She has a cork similar to mine. Really? What's your cork again? Uh, pretty much enlarging my arms, at least my fists. It's kind of lame. Uh, are you kidding? That is very helpful. I mean, at the very least, you could control the size of them. Well, my lady, she can control the size of one part at a certain moment of time. Can you imagine how much damage she could cause if she... <coughs> huh? Yeah. Please, tell me, enlighten me on how much damage I can cause. And imagine all that damage directed towards you. Oh. Oh. How long? Long enough. Wait, why are you here? To take you home. <laughs> Is she here? She's taking you home? Manetta, calm down. That's not what she meant. That lady just... Uh, Grabbing Yuzuku from behind, everyone just shooting daggers at him. Especially, huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, she's not taking you to her home, so I guess you're going to your place, are you? Well, uh, I. I uh, I mean, she's going to drop me off at my uh, apartment, but that's pretty much it. Really? Why? I would love to finally meet your parents. Uh, what? As you feel the intense burning sensation of someone wanting to murder him, or at least murdered someone in his near vicinity so he has to try to he has to play uh, mediator or at least uh, peacekeeper trying to hurry up help on home and uh, hopefully no one uh, is seeing the obituaries oh, I you had to do that what? You know exactly what you did. You you just liked causing 
drama for no good reason. No good reason. What more reason is there than entertainment? And seeing you squirm like that, seeing their reaction to me is just delicious. They're going to try to kill you or me. Well, they like you. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you stupid? Of course they like you. Yeah, from what I heard about your te test from you, heck, you saved one of them, and the other one seems to be rather already interested in you for some reason. Uh, turns out she can't make herself visible. And me using my quirk, I can technically see her. Oh. So, which one did you type? I. I don't even know them, really. So, between them and me, who would you choose? I, uh, I, <sighs> don't worry, you don't have to give me an answer, not yet, but I will very much be expecting one soon enough. Just kidding. Uh, what? I'm just teasing you. But I thought, uh, yeah. Don't worry. If anything, though, yes, it, your little fits are cute. Not, eh. You're a bit too much of a dad. Everyone say that. Well, I've seen how you are with your friends, and yes, you got like a dad. I don't know if you're doing this because you want kids, or you're preparing to be a dad, or you already have kids on the way. But, eh, if anything. That's not what I'm looking for right now. Anyway. Maybe in the future. Uh, uh, so you're saying, yeah, chances are you might still have a chance with me. Yeah, anyway, you're home. You can leave now. Is it good pretty much dazed as soon as he gets out of the car? I, 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 that just happened. She, did she just, uh, mark me or something? Did she, did she just lay claim to me all nonchalantly? Ugh. Man, women can be scary. I see she's, uh, Brought you home. Yeah. How was school? It, it was good. Uh huh. So, does this mean you're going to quit working at her agency? Like, what? I mean, can't possibly be. be be able to juggle schoolwork and you know uh huh I didn't consider that of course you didn't um so what, what do you suggest 
You see, you find a way to juggle the two, plus your training, or give one of them up. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to quit UA after you've just really just got there. Uh, um, huh. I. Oh, dang. That's a good point. Of course it is. Now, what was your choice? You can't expect me to. Oh, of course not. If anything, test it out. Try to juggle everything. If you can do it, great. But remember, you're trying to be a hero. At the very least, go through the steps to become one. Uh, right. So, hmm, yeah. Thanks for the advice, Mom. My pleasure. I say UA. Well, uh, okay, hero versus villains. It's still gonna be the same. Hagakure being distraught, but still, oh well, just the luck of the draw. But Izuku is more than happy to put Bakugo in his place. It's time for uh, Bakugo to have uh, another slice of that humble pie. But this is a bit different from how it will be in canon. Bongo is more than willing to listen to whatever Kagamami plan he has. Knowing that Izuku has control over vibrations can be a bit of a problem for Bakugo. Because when it comes to explosions, yes, the fire and devastation that it can cause is disastrous but also the air pressure the potential shrapnel and you know the impact that could be just as if not even more devastating hell think of like a claymore mine it's not the fiery explosion really it's the fact that you are getting pushed or ran through by this motherfucker. So, Bongo, yeah, he's all ears. He can't risk the fact that Izuku can possibly and possibly be able to negate his explosions due to this. So, all he can really do is sit there quietly and listen. While Izuku, okay. I know Bakugo. He's gonna want to be fighting me head on with all he has. Luckily, I know about his explosions as well as how to cancel them out with my vibrations. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. You see, I can shield myself in technically armor made of vibrations. I just gotta make sure it's strong enough to withstand his explosions. Oh. Can I get one? I sadly can't do that. But don't worry. Knowing him, he will definitely just try to you know beat me. He's always been like that. Everything he's probably just going to completely ignore you. But we're a full quirk, and this might actually be very easy for us. How stealthy are you? Okay. So, how long can you keep yourself up in the air? Kind of, sort of. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to have you float up as high as you possibly can until you hopefully reach the bomb. At least know where it is. And when you do, here's what is going to happen. Now it's time for the actual test. And he's going to be surprised. Bongo's not there yet. He's not crashing through the ceiling. He's not blowing anything up. See, he sees the silhouette of Bongo just starting to itch ever closer towards him. Him and Araka being ready for whatever comes their way. But then Bongo doesn't use his explosions to propel himself. He just uses them to really punch Izuku. Or more accurately, technically slap him. Bongo is very different when it comes to this fight. And Izuku is sure that wow he actually changed up his fighting style, or at least the one he would usually use with a quirk like his. Impressing Izuku, but also yeah, it's not gonna really mean anything if you can't you know, get past my barrier, my armor. And don't forget there are two of us here. All I need is to keep you busy. Till the time runs out. Is she? Wait, what? I'm not trying to beat you. Not this time. I just need to stall you. Little gravity girl, she is no threat whatsoever. Trust me, I'm sure Point Dexter can take her. I must say, this is one hell of a plan that you two cooked up. Make sure the strongest of all of us can fight or go for the bomb. Eh, at the end of the day, yeah, that seemed like a great idea, but you forget. I am still stronger than you. As one punch, Izuku sends Bongo flying out the door, windows, and walls. So the point where he's like, oh, hopefully I didn't kill him. Bongo, he's still conscious, but he is hurting badly. Much to the point where All White does want to stop the fight, but also, no. This is going to be good training for them. There's a deal ball goes. Okay, I have no choice. There's no way I can stall him without going full on all out power. And this is when he pulls his pin. Shocking Izuku to a point where he, his hero costume is destroyed. Except for his pants. All Might threatens to swallow White Bakugo, even possibly expel him if he does that again. Izuku just waving it off, it's fine. We have to treat this like a real hero mission. And he's playing the role of the villain perfectly. Mago only has one shot left. He can only hope that he can pull the pin fast enough before Izuku can end up blitzing him. But one thing Izuku did that surprised Mago. I dare you. Pull the pin. Do it. Are you s Oh, yeah. I know. I can take your explosions, Bakugo. <sighs> You're not as strong as you think. 
as Bongo starts to get very seemingly upset. As he rushes at Izuku with hands ablazing, Izuku just knowing that, yeah, he's still the angry Pomeranian he's always been. So he goes to punch Bongo. Bongo dodges, grabs Izuku's arm, and pins him to the ground. Wait, here's the other gauntlet. And Izuku's face, point blank range. Give up. <laughs> what the hell is this? <sighs> as much as I really want to beat the snot out of you, I have to worry about this test first. One thing for certain, I am not losing to you. Hero team wins. Uh, what? Don't tell me that four eyes. Yep, Rocka captured the bomb. Uh, how? Well, let me tell you this is my plan. You see, once I allowed Rocka to see exactly where the bomb was, all I had to really do is keep uh, you preoccupied and with our little scuffle I was able to kick up enough materials for her to use let alone make sure that Ida couldn't keep his uh, balance every punch every explosion yeah pretty much ensured our victory Knowing that he, uh, though being fast as well, having strong legs, and I mean, goodness gracious, they you can't really run unless you have a pretty good balance. You can't really run effectively. And he's known for speed, so I just have to take it away. It was easier said than done, but. I figured you, knowing how I am now, you would have listened to whatever plan he had to potentially win. You bastard. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I am a bastard. But... I won. Now let go of my arm. I could break it right now. I could blow your face off. Why aren't you more scared? I already won. But I guess I should enlighten you. Izuku gets up. <laughs> and Bongo's hold on his arm is broken. Near instantaneously, is Izuku backhands Bongo through a wall. I do admire the plan you came up with to try to beat me, but at the end of the day, you can't beat me. Not the way you are. Or at least, get better. I'll be waiting for you. To catch up. He's a girl walking away. Bongo completely defeated and as well as very much pissed. He does congratulate Izuku and Oraka for the win. As Izuku does, say, so, you did very well. He knows his own Raka is breaking apart in laughter. And I'm wondering what's wrong with that. He was so serious. <laughs> he was trying his best to be the villain. The monologues, the over dramatic speeches, or whatever. It's just. 
Uh, it, it was just too much. I couldn't keep a straight face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, so you could be stealthy. So is that why it really took that long for you to get to the bomb? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I'm confused. Yeah. Long story short, she was laughing at you, which gave away her position. Which means it was very fortunate that I was able to upset your balance and stop you from running so effectively. Yeah. Seriously, you know, Raka, please try to control your uh, emotions a little bit more. Uh, well, I'm sure I wouldn't do that in a real um, situation. It's just uh, he, yes, but he was playing the part of the villain. What if someone else goes over the top, such as Ida? You could end up compromising the whole entire operation with your giggles. I'm sorry. I'm not mad. I just want you to do your best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's laughing now? Me? Kirishima. <laughs> oh, oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Pops, but that is. Oh. It's great not being the one who gets scolded. Excuse me. Yeah. We, me and uh, another friend of ours, Shinzo, call him Pops because he acts like a complete dad. At least when it comes to people he really cares about and is worried about their futures and well-being. So, if anything... Don't look so down in the dumps. It just means he cares. Uh, you do? Uh, well, I, well, of course I, yeah, I, of course I do. Araka blushing, Izuku pretty much wanted to change the subject. All the other fights go as, the only wooden cannon except here she was is complete and total domination though he isn't still on his unbreakable mode luckily he's getting close even being able to use his hair to the effects of a makeshift weapon <sighs> but it's when it comes to the whole easy to working with my lady things get a little different Kamiya was does still want to provoke Izuku to embarrass himself or anything so he's been plotting but then he's walking around trying to find Izuku when he hears a very distinctive noise followed by two voices one Izuku one Mount Lady Mount Lady pretty much asking Izuku to go deeper to harder slow down faster Izuku just being very compliant asking how she likes it Kamiya Woods is getting a nosebleed 
as he just keeps on listening. People were realizing, like, okay, so this is weird, but once they hear it, they can't help but just be complete and utter creeps and eavesdropping. Mount Lady's voice is nothing if not very suggestive. And Izuku, being the dutiful Boy Scout or whatever, he is more than happy to add on to the uh, imaginations of their listening audience. It's only when Kanye Woods goes too far in trying to sneak a peek, but he falls, and so does everyone else, pretty much being out for being eavesdroppers, as well as seeing, like, wait, why are your clothes on? Uh huh. Um, what are you guys doing here? We could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here, Midoriya? <clears throat> Giving Mount Lee a massage. What? What? So that's all that was. All I had no idea. Give me back my nosebleed. What? what? Give me back my boner. What? What? Wait. What? You were. You were. All of you? Why? Never mind that. Why were you doing this in the first place? She seemed very stiff. So was I. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh, no, no, no. I do not need this right now. Are you kidding me? I will stay at full attention just imagining the kind of things you were doing. That's your fault. Not mine. That you owe me and Mount Lady an apology. No, you owe us an apology for getting our hopes up. Wait, what with what logic? Pray tell, what what logic? Makes you think that I owe you any kind of apology. As they're going back and forth, my lady just has enough as she just gets up from the table, about to tell everyone to get the fuck out, but Izuku just hugs her out of nowhere, adding on to the confusion as well as the embarrassment of my lady. Her wondering what the hell are you doing is bad enough they her realizing her towel is off and her seeing the flushed faces of her fellow co-workers she's about to scream but she luckily stopped by Zuduza like, please don't her just hugging him like, don't let me go. Call your woods. Passes out due to blood loss. No one else. They're either whispering, having bloody noses as well, or pulling Kanye Woods out so he can get medical attention. As soon as they're gone, Izuku quickly closes his eyes, turns around, and leaves. Now he does thank him. Izuku's, you're welcome. Let's never talk about this again. Noticing a drop of blood hitting the floor, Mount Lady throws one of her shoes at Izuku, calling him a pervert. Once Izuku gets home, Ingo does notice the blood on his shirt, 
as well as the knot on his head. Her wondering wh what happened, him not wanting to tell her, but being the mother she is, very concerned about her son's well being. Like, who did it? Who hurt you? It was an accident. Who hurt my baby? Look. Look, my lady didn't mean to. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I understand now. It was that one. Whew. I'm going to launch a complaint. Like, no. Things happened, and. He's going to give an explanation. Like, oh, dear. That. Oh, I. Oh, goodness. That's. That's a lot to take in. So you were just giving her a massage and she was very immersed in said action. Yeah. Then your co-workers just so happened to be shopping and one thing led to another. You saw something you weren't supposed to see. Yeah. Okay. That's. Hmm. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you for telling me. You are excused. Oh, man. I feel like I made one hell of a mistake. Oh well, let's let's just get back to training with my friends, and hopefully I can get some level of normalcy. Which, yeah, it's more normal. The only thing is, when anyone from Malaysia uh, easy shows up, they're more than happy to. Quest is a a massage of their own, men and women. Wondering, how, it could, it can't be that good to make her have that kind of reaction. They are quickly proven wrong, considering Izuku incorporates his vibrations into it. Not enough to hurt, but just right to make you. Feel like you, you haven't slept in days. Which, considering the whole hero work thing, may have been true. Much to the point where uh, Izuku had to carry them home and them clinging to him, please don't leave. Even getting some, you say, tentacle. Confessions of love. Some wanting them, please marry me. I can make you happy. I'll do whatever you want. Of course, Izuku, Kirishima, and Shinzo are very uncomfortable with this, especially Izuku, all things considered. But he happily declines. But he makes sure to be very polite about it. It's not until my lady shows up that the evening reaches its climax. She's still mad at him. Though he did protect her from the leering eyes of all her comrades. It's the fact that he got a very good, very good seats at the Mount Lady Museum. So, she's embarrassed, angry, sad, much to the point where she just says, you have to take responsibility for what you did to me. <coughs> what do you do? <sighs> he took away my innocence. Really? Old 
man. Care to elaborate what you did to this poor, poor woman? Kirishima, don't, don't you start. What? <laughs> what? Seriously, sir. I can never get married after all he's done to me. Really? <laughs> oh my... Izuku, what did you do? I'm not even joking, what did you do? It was an accident. It, it was a huge mistake. Are you... Excuse me? What now, my lord? A mistake? Yes, I will take it all back if I could. Really? Uh, yeah. You know what? Screw you, you jackass. What? What? What What'd I do wrong? It's bad enough. You had your hands all over me. You were... You were the first person. You were my first. <laughs> Excuse me? Midoriya! She ends up is not how she's making it sound. I swear. Uh, I don't know. She's making it sound pretty damn good. Please, give us some more details. Seriously, the only person who's ever seen me in such a vulnerable state were when my parents, and that's when I was a, still a baby, a toddler, if anything else, but you, you didn't miss a spot. You, you, honest to God, you opened my eyes to so many possibilities. Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> Izuku. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm so proud. Uh, guess you know what you're talking about. <laughs> I knew it. I should have seen it before, but you've become a man. Uh, what? You have transcended into manhood, and I am so proud. i have never so proud of a friend before. I, I, I swear it is not how she's making it sound. You don't need to be so modest. I knew sooner or later you would find someone to, to go the distance with, but a uh, pro hero. Ugh, it's such a fetching one at that. I, I don't know what to say. Except I'm proud of you. You've become a man. I'm so happy to be alive to, to witness it. Mount Lady, please explain to him that it is not like that. Please clear my name. Let them know that I didn't do anything to you that was inappropriate. Inappropriate. Of course, it wasn't inappropriate. It was so natural the way you. Heck, I didn't even know. Thanks to you, I learned how flexible I could be. <coughs> stop. stop! 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 Please, 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 don't stop talking. You need to lighten up. If anything. It was very good for me. You, you might not have experienced the same pleasures as I have, but I know you enjoyed at least some 
of our time together. Please. Please just st stop. Shizu. Please look at me. Pops. Seriously, you need to go into the masseuse business. Huh? Wait, what? Seriously, if, she, if she's giving you that much of a glowing review, damn, you would make a killing as a massage therapist. Wait, so you know exactly what she... Yeah! Seriously, there's no way in hell you, you would go that far with a pro hero. Thank you, my boy. Oh, so he didn't? No, dumbass. Of course he didn't. You really think Pops would, would do such a thing before he reached full maturity? Uh huh. I guess you have a point. Shizo, you are not my favorite. 